researchers found a new planet Proxima b, not too far from Earth recently. Stargazers got the clearest picture ever of Proxima b using the James Webb Space Telescope. This planet goes around the closest star to our sun and this great picture lets us peek at a world outside our solar system making researchers excited how did the telescope do it could this picture show a place with conditions for life what does this discovery mean for understanding exoplanets and the huge universe come explore the clear picture of proxima b caught by the james webb telescope proxima centauri b is in space orbiting its star Proxima Centauri only 4.2 lighty. Years from Earth, this first clear image of Proxima B has sparked curiosity about whether it's like Earth may be with oceans and life. Interestingly, Proxima Centauri has another big planet Proxima. Centauri C Proxima Centauri B gets about as much energy from its star as Earth gets from the sun making researchers wonder if it could have water or support. Life as we explore space, we see lots of exoplanets orbiting stars other than our sun with about 206 trillion stars in the universe. The possibilities for these exoplanets seem endless. Some even float through space like huge wanderers. Proxima Centauri b is special. Its year is super short, only 11.7 Earth days. It orbits its star way closer than Earth orbits the sun so one side of the planet is always in sunlight while the other is always dark making it strange and maybe amazing proxima b was first found using the radial velocity method a big deal for finding exoplanets this method watches for tiny movements of a star caused by the pull of a planet orbiting it as the planet orbits it makes the star wobble slightly scientists spot this by looking at Changes in the star's light for Proxima b. These small changes showed that this far-off planet was there proving how well the radial velocity method works for finding planets outside our solar system. Finding Proxima b was a huge deal because it showed an exoplanet exists in the habitable zone of the closest star to our sun. This made researchers and space fans really excited they want to Check out the secrets Proxima B might hold and what this find means for understanding the universe and the chance of life beyond Earth Proxima. Centauri B is amazing to think about. Three close stars Regulus Canopus and Proxima Centauri move through space, making up the closest star system to us. When we look at the night sky Regulus and Canopus shine brightly together but it's Proxima that holds a cool secret. Also called Alpha Centauri, this small red star is only 0.21 light years from its brighter buddies it was spotted back in 1915. Proxima Centauri is hard to see without help red dwarf stars like Proximus. Century make energy this star will be around for a super long time, maybe four trillion years, but living around Proxima. Centauri might be tough, it's a flare star. So it sometimes shoots off bursts of energy. Also, its lower mass means the area where life could exist is closer to the star than Earth is to the sun. Proxima b is in that zone, but it gets way more ultraviolet radiation than Earth. This radiation could mess with important stuff like nitrogen and oxygen. And just being in the right zone doesn't mean a planet can support life Proxima b might not have the right atmosphere to keep things stable or have liquid water. Without a good atmosphere, any life there would be in danger trying to learn about. Proxima b is a big goal in space. Research the James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, could help answer if life exists on Proxima b getting good. Images from the James Webb Space Telescope took some work Proxima b is in. It stars habitable zone so it might absorb and send out infrared light which the James Webb Space Telescope can spot. This telescope can pick up faint light from the planet's surface helping. Scientists look for water or an atmosphere finding out if Proxima b has. Water is key. If it does that would make it much more 
likely that the planet could support. Life Proxima b gets about the same amount of energy from its star as Earth gets from the Sun but it also gets a lot of radiation and magnetic activity which could hurt any atmosphere plus it's still not clear if there's liquid water their scientists are using models to guess what Proxima's environment might be like some think there might be oceans while others think any water might be frozen finding water on Proxima b is tough and needs good telescopes and the right conditions but as our tools get better we might learn more about this planet's atmosphere and water but just having an atmosphere doesn't mean Proxima b is livable one scientist warns that the planet could be like Venus with a thick hot atmosphere that's not good for life Proxima b is a cool neighbor that makes us wonder about life it's close enough to Earth that we might want to send missions there even though it's hard to get to Proxima B people are thinking about how to do it like using solar sails these sails could speed up spacecraft and maybe get to the Proxima Centauri system in 20 years finding Proxima B has made people super curious about the universe and given us hope it shows we want to explore new worlds and think about life beyond Earth even though the James Webb space Telescope is amazing, it has limits it. Can't always figure out what an atmosphere is like or if a planet is good for life Proxima B might be like. Venus, so just having an atmosphere doesn't mean it's livable still. The telescope can spot even tiny signs of life. Our universe has lots of planets waiting to be explored. These exoplanets orbit stars far away and come in all sizes and shapes some are huge gas giants like jupiter and saturn while others are like earth gas giants are really cool exoplanets some of these planets called super jupiters are way bigger than jupiter there are also hot jupiter gas giants that orbit really close to their stars and get super hot these planets are fiery with crazy storms but there are other kinds of exoplanets too like Neptunian exoplanets that are about the size of Uranus and Neptune some are smaller and closer to their stars with strange atmospheres to understand exoplanets like Proxima b scientists are creating new technologies one method called the transit method watches for when a planet passes in front of a star and dims its light a bit this has helped us find lots of exoplanets and some are in the habitable zone where there might be liquid water these finds make us wonder if we're alone in the universe besides finding planet scientists are also looking for signs of life on distant worlds by studying the atmospheres of exoplanets they can spot gases like oxygen methane and carbon dioxide which are linked to life the James Webb Space Telescope should help with this letting us see these gases even on planets far away if we find these signs of life it would suggest that life could exist elsewhere even while we're looking at the stars we're still searching for life in our own solar system Proxima Centauri b gets about the same energy from its star as Earth gets from the Sun this makes researchers wonder if this planet could have water or support life as we look into space we see lots of exoplanets circling stars other than our sun with so many stars out there the possibilities for these planets seem endless some of these planets just wander through space Proxima Centauri b is a puzzle its year is super short only 11.7 earth days it circles its star much closer than earth circles the sun that means one side of the planet is always in sunlight while the other is always dark making it strange and maybe awesome Proxima b was first found using the radial velocity method which is a big deal for finding exoplanets this method watches for tiny movements of a star caused by the pull of a circling planet's gravity as the planet circles it makes the star move a bit and experts spot this movement by studying changes in the stars light this is how they found Proxima b showing how well this method works for finding 
planets outside our system finding. Proxima b was a huge win because it confirmed there's a planet in the habitable zone of the closest star to our sun. This got researchers and space fans really excited. They're eager to see what Proxima b might hold and what it means for our understanding of the universe and the chance of life beyond. Earth Proxima Centauri b is super cool to think about. Check out the picture three. Space Buddies Regulus Canopus and Proxima Centauri move through space, making up the closest star system to us. When we look at the night sky Regulus and Canopus look like one bright star, shining together but it's Proxima that has a secret also called Alpha Centauri. This red dwarf star is pretty close only. 0.21 light years from its brighter. Friends, that's way farther than the distance between Earth and the Sun. Its name Proxima Centauri means closest star. In Latin, which tells you it's our closest star neighbor back in 1915a. Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn Innes showed it to everyone even though it's Close Proxima Centauri is hard to see, without help, but it's still a big deal. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri make energy through strong internal movements. This star will keep being the main star for another four trillion years, shining bright for ages. But there are problems with the idea of life around Proxima Centauri because it's a flare star Proxima. Centauri has sudden bursts of energy also. Any habitable zone where life could exist would be much closer to the star than our sun's habitable zone that's where Proxima b comes in its in that zone at a distance similar to Earth's orbit around the sun but Proxima deals with strong ultraviolet radiation this radiation is dangerous even to hydrogen atoms and it messes with important stuff like nitrogen and oxygen just being in. The Goldilocks zone doesn't mean a place can support life Proxima B might not have the right things to create a good environment, manage climate or have a surface where water can exist without a strong atmosphere. Any life on Proxima B would be exposed to the harshness of space, making it less likely to survive. The mission to find out more about Proxima B is a big deal in space exploration, the James Webb space. Telescope launched in 2021 after some delays might help answer the question is their life on Proxima B finding out the truth about Proxima B isn't easy. The James Webb Space Telescope had to be adjusted to make sure its pictures were accurate. According to a physicist at Harvard, Proxima B needs a careful look because it's in its star's habitable zone. The planet might absorb and release infrared radiation which the James Webb Space Telescope can detect this. Telescope can catch the faint light from the planet's surface helping researchers look for water or an atmosphere weather. Proxima B has water is super important. For understanding this planet water is a key part of life on Earth if water is found on Proxima B it would make it much more likely that the planet is habitable or can support some kind of life Proxima. B gets the same amount of solar energy as Earth does from the Sun, but because it's close to its red dwarf star, the planet faces strong radiation and magnetic activity. These things could make it hard for an atmosphere to stay stable. The question of liquid water is also up in the air right now. Scientists are using computer models to study different scenarios for Proxima's environment and possible water. Some think there might be huge oceans, while others think any water might be ice or buried under the surface. Finding water on Proxima B is tough and needs advanced telescopes and specific atmospheric conditions as our tools get better. We expect to learn more about Proxima B's atmosphere and any water it might have, which will help us understand this planet better, but just having an atmosphere doesn't mean Proxima B is habitable. An astrophysicist at Princeton University warns that we shouldn't assume it's habitable just because it has an atmosphere. He says the planet might be like Venus with a thick, toxic atmosphere and extreme heat, which would 
make it impossible for life as we know. Proxima b is a fascinating neighbor. In our vast space, it teases us with the possibility of conditions that could support life because it's close to Earth. It's a good target for future space. Missions which is exciting for scientists and space fans even though we can't travel to Proxima b right now, it's still something to think about for future interstellar missions it would take 73,000 years to reach Proxima b using current spacecraft tech like Voyager 2 but we're always coming up with new ideas like solar sails these super thin sails could change space travel pushing spacecraft at crazy speeds and maybe reaching the Proxima Centauri system in 20 years this would make the dream of exploring a planet like Earth possible within our lifetime. The discovery of Proxima b has made us even more curious about the universe, giving us hope and wonder it shows how much we want to explore find new worlds and think about life beyond Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope is amazing but it has its limits it can't always figure out atmospheres and find conditions that support life on planets like Proxima b. Proxima b with its atmosphere similar to Venus reminds us that an atmosphere alone doesn't guarantee a place is livable but the telescope is great at finding even the faintest signs of life. Our universe is huge and mysterious, filled with planets waiting to be explored these planets called exoplanets. Circle stars way beyond our solar system. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some are like Jupiter and Saturn, while others are like Earth gas giants. Are super cool these planets similar to Jupiter and Saturn are often way bigger. They're so massive that they make Jupiter look small. There are also hot Jupiter gas giants that circle really close to their stars dealing with crazy temperatures that could melt metal. Studying these planets shows us a world filled with intense storms and heat.